Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters video. I thought I would create an additional one just to answer some questions with regards to uh, certain items associated with my Cryptids and Monsters channel. Um, as a quick note, of uh, thank you once again everybody for the suggestions on there uh, for the last three videos. And I'll continue to do these. I might even decrease the amount of time between them each month at a time to maybe each two weeks or so because it's been going pretty popular so I I'm definitely appreciate everybody's attention and I want to be able to respect all of you by ensuring that these things go out there quicker so probably expect an announcement within maybe about a week and a half or so with regards to some new videos and anyways uh, I just wanted to talk about uh, I guess one of the most popular suggestions that I keep getting by far this is the most popular one is a slender man and the reason why I haven't really talked about him, I mean, this is somebody that I've been having requests, uh, this particular cryptid, since, I guess, since my very first video, I think, all the way back to when I first did Bloop, um, probably like a year or so ago. And Slenderman has continued to be asked as a request for months and months and months. I get multiple requests almost on a weekly, if not bi-weekly basis. And the reason why I haven't done anything related to Slenderman is when I immediately started doing some research on him uh, near and around the first time I was asked, I found out that actually Slenderman, I hate to say it everybody, but Slenderman is a made up story. It's from the creepy pasta age. It's 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 that type of story where somebody creates it and then it takes on a life of its own. And um, I, I don't, I can't recall if it was part of Creepypasta or not, or if it was, uh, I guess, a submission that eventually got into Creepypasta. But in any case, the whole point was Slenderman is a fabrication. It's just a uh, urban legend type story that's made up. That's really cool. I mean, no doubt, it's it's it, it, the popularity of it shows how well it was made and how well it was crafted. But unlike some of the other cryptids and monsters I've talked about here, uh, this one was just essentially made up with the age of the internet. So somebody created him, somebody posted him, and then it took on a life of its own on there. Um, this is why, with regards to other inquiries, if I could do stuff related to creepypasta, um, I'm holding off on that right now because the genre of the creepypasta type submissions, all those monsters, all those weird aliens, weird stories, um, those, um, I, I have so much more cryptids and monsters to talk about, and those are, by all means, almost always real, um, in, in the fact that they are they truly existed, or people have seen them, and so forth, that I'm not really ready to go into the level where I'm talking about fan-made fiction, necessarily. That's not to say that that could happen in the future, uh, but with regards to um, so many other cryptids left to talk about, so many other monsters left to talk about, I'm um, definitely going with what's been out there, what's considered real, uh, what people have seen, what what's considered almost an urban legend type status, and then maybe in the future if my thoughts change. Then I'll delve into the creepy politics type stuff, and some of that stuff is pretty fascinating. I mean, I've had requests about the, uh, what is it called, that Russian, that Russian sleep experiment. Um, I've had requests about the, that mannequin, the one that uh, people said uh, somebody was taken down at a hospital that had a mannequin like evil like face. Uh, of course, Slender Man, and so on. So it's still out there. It's potential. But right now, um, again, there's so many more fascinating real cryptids and monsters that are out there that I'll have to talk about. That um, That's why I haven't necessarily gone into the Slender Man and other type uh, scenarios out there. So, anyways, just wanted to give everybody an update on that. Um, otherwise, again, I'll make an announcement pretty soon with a set of new videos. So... I'll be ready to take all your suggestions again, and by all means, please continue to suggest them. I'll eventually get around to everybody's on there, and then that way I'll, I'll continue this particularly popular page. So, thanks again, everybody. Take care.